Thumping your worry on Nintendo DS and 3DS cartridges is possible if you have a hacked 3DS console. In this video, I will show you how to do it and how to install the dump games. So, let's get started. The first step is to check if you already have a custom firmware running on your console. So do this while the console is powered off. Press and hold the select button, then press the power button. If you see the Luma 3DS configuration screen, then you already have the custom firmware. If you don't see it, then follow my previous guide on how to hack your 3DS. The next step is to check if you have God Mod 9. Press and hold the start button, then press the power button. Again, do this while the console is powered off. If you can open God Mod 9, then you are good to go. Otherwise, follow my previous guide on how to hack your 3DS. Make sure you are running God Mod 9. Get your NDS game cartridge and insert it to the game card slot. Navigate to the game card drive and press A to enter the drive. Select the trim.nds file, then select copy to gm 9 out folder. Press A to continue. Now let's remove the NDS cartridge and insert the 3DS cartridge. Again, navigate to the game card drive. Select the trim.3ds file and select copy to gm 9 out folder. Press A to continue. Then press B to go back. Then navigate to the gm 9 out folder at the SD card drive. You can see the dump games at this folder, the 3DS game ROM, and the NDS game ROM. These ROMs are fully functional, but since we are running custom firmware on the 3DS console, then I will show you how to convert these ROMs to the installable CIA file format. Select the 3DS game ROM. Choose NCSD image options. Then choose build CIA form file. Press A to continue. You will find the installable 3DS CIA file format inside the gm 9 out folder. In other hands, converting the NDS file to CIA file format is a different story. There is no option to do this using God Mod 9. So, we should use the NDS forwarder to get the job done. You can remove any cartridge from your console as you won't need it anymore. Remove the SD card as well. Download Java and save it to your computer. Then download these files. And you might need to download WinRAR to extract the downloaded archive. Open the SD card on your computer and navigate to gm 9 out folder. Make sure you can see all the dumb game inside that folder. Double click the DS game forwarder archive. Open the 4 SD card root folder and extract the NDS folder to the root of the SD card. Open the forwarder 3DS archive and extract its content to your computer. The next step is optional. It is for those who want to use a custom banner for hack or translated NDS games. You can extract its content to a folder and I will show you how to use it later. Now let's install Java. Double click the Java installer and follow the on-screen instruction. And then reboot your computer. Now double click the forwarder3ds.jar file. You should be able to open the app normally. 
Otherwise, recheck your Java installation. Select the automatically set ROM path option. Press the folder icon, then select your NDS game ROM. Make sure to select the NDS game ROM that is located on your console's SD card. In my case, the NDS game ROM is still located at the GM9 slash out folder. Since we are using a legit game dump, then it will show you the original game icon. However, you can replace the game icon with the one from the animated banner replacement folder if you want to. Right-click the game, choose import banner, and select any binary file from the animated banner replacement folder. Again, this step is optional, but you can use this feature if you are using a hack or translated NDS game ROM. To restore the original game icon, you should remove it from the list and re-import the game ROM. You can uncheck the option to generate the NDS file because it doesn't affect anything. Now press the save icon to generate the CIA forwarder file. Move or copy the generated CIA file to anywhere on your SD card. Reinsert the SD card to your console. Turn on your console and run FBI. Navigate to SD and enter the GM9 slash out folder. We will install the 3 ds CIA format game. Select the CIA file format, then you can choose between install the CIA file only or add an option to automatically delete it. Now press any key, then press B to go back. Then select the NDSCIA file and again install it. Press the home button to go back to the main screen. Then you can unwrap all the newly installed titles. Close the FBI and try running the NDS game. The NDS game loaded perfectly. Press the home button to close the game and get back to the main screen. Now try running the 3DS game. The game loaded perfectly. Now you can press the home button to close the game. And you have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this guide. If you need help, you can always contact me on social media. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys later.